Okay, so this is a couple of eggs over medium, and then I just put a bunch of heirloom tomatoes and a half an avocado for a little extra fat punch there. And um, this has been my go-to afternoon snack or breakfast. Sometimes I put it over a bed of um, salad greens. Even for breakfast, it really, it just tastes really good. I'm a savory breakfast person anyway, but right now this is my two o'clock snack. Okay, so whenever I am craving something sweet instead of something savory, um, when I'm nursing, I need, um, but I still need something high in protein and high in fat, I take some full fat, not the non-fat, but the full fat, plain organic Greek yogurt. It's made by Stony Field. I think it's called Stony Field. Um, and it is high in protein and it is high in fat. Um, and then it's unsweetened, so I add some uh, pure maple syrup there and then I either add banana slices and um, some coconut some unsweetened coconut to it or I add some berries and some chocolate chips to it so you got to have something right if I add the chocolate chips so I don't add the maple syrup because they are plenty sweet I don't have like the cacao chips just like actual Nestle chocolate chips so that is what I go for if I'm looking for something sweet and it never fails. And actually I've gotten in the habit of having this instead of ice cream because I'm not a human, well, I am a huge ice cream fan, but I'm a huge Ben and Jerry's ice cream fan and it's like $6 a little container. So I've gotten in the habit of having this instead of loading down my freezer with Ben and Jerry's and this is like, seriously, it's so good. It totally hits the spot. Here is my go-to end of the day treat. Um, this is a protein shake. So. In this, I sometimes add spinach if I know I have not had enough veggies for the day but just really can't taste it. Um, this is a vegan protein mix. It is basically like hemp, rice, and pea protein. I believe it's completely organic and it is free of all of this. No dairy, no soy, no gluten, lactose, and non-GMO, of course, because it's organic. Um, and there's also chia in it. Okay, there you go. It's approved for kids as well. So. That always makes me way more comfortable to use it when I'm nursing, but like I said, everything in it, I've read the ingredients, it is completely safe. As far as my own, um, my own research, so of course, don't take that as like medical advice. But I use the sunflower lecithin as well um, to avoid uh, mastitis. So I use this, um, in combination with this, I put this in either my yogurt or a smoothie, depending on what I have each day. And um, there is the protein in here, but there's also some fat in here. This has contained some naturally occurring fat as well from the sunflower. And then this, um, I use almond milk to blend it all together. So this has, again, some natural fat in it and protein. So I just basically, you don't have to use this, so kind of X that out. It's really, really simple. I use a f couple frozen bananas, some about one cup of almond milk and two scoops of this, and it makes the most delicious smoothie. It literally tastes like a McDonald's chocolate milkshake. I don't know why you don't even taste the banana in it, so if you're not a banana fan, don't worry about that. And then the bonus is if you are trying to boost your milk supply, you can easily blend some oats in here and the flavor goes really well. So on occasion, I will put some oats in here and blend it all up together because I am, had struggled at the beginning of this, um, this nursing, nursing this baby with my milk supply. So I had put some oats in there quite a bit if I didn't eat oatmeal that day. So that is my um, second sweet nursing mom treat, I guess. Um, and this one is also vegan. Okay, when I am in the mood for something really savory, um, but I don't have time to cook anything, I go for this every time. So this is a flax tortilla, but a whole wheat tortilla is fine. I just use a flax one that I found um, because it has a little more protein. Just one tortilla has eight grams of protein. And then um, occasionally if we have guacamole, I'll just put guacamole straight in there with like some lettuce and lime juice and call it a day. But um, because some of you may have uh, babies who are sensitive to like onion or garlic, I'm just going to show you what I do when we don't have guacamole on hand, which is I cut an entire avocado up, like one whole avocado. Um, I don't scrimp on that. I mean, you're nursing, you're nourishing a child. So 
you have the calorie count for a full avocado. Um, so that's got some really good healthy fats in it. And then I just add some tomato and cilantro and then a little bit of lime juice over the top. Now we happen to have some black beans left over from supper last night. So I'm gonna throw some black beans on there just cold, make it a quick cold veggie wrap here. But uh, we don't always have black beans. My husband usually takes them with him to work. Um, if we have leftovers, so we just happen to have some extra today. But traditionally, this is all I do, and then I can add, you can add a little bit of salt and pepper on top for some more flavor, but I find that adding a good amount of lime juice um, is really all you need with all these flavors that are already in here. So traditionally, these aren't any vegetables um, that would bother a nursing baby um, if you have like a newborn. My baby's already five months old, so she doesn't really have a sensitivity to black beans or anything any longer, but yeah, so that's that. No cooking required, no heating required, minimal prep work required. All I had to do was chop up the tomato and the avocado. Uh, the cilantro just pulls right off of the stock and then um, just squeeze some lime juice over top and call it a good fat and protein snack for a nursing mom who needs to keep those calorie counts up and keep your energy up. So. Those are some of my favorite nursing snacks. Why don't you leave a comment below if you have some suggestions for other nursing moms, what you go to when you are just constantly starving and needing to keep your fats and your protein counts up and when just like a handful of almonds won't do. Let me know in the comments below. Bye.